This is the GEC BT302 17 inch television receiver from 1960, 5960. It uses one of the first 110 degree tubes that was uh, released in this country. It's a black and white set, of course, 405 lines, the British system A. I've restored it recently, it gives a very good picture, it's very watchable, very stable, reliable, plenty of contrast and brightness. It's band 1 and band 3, band 1 in this country covered the BBC channels across the country, and band 3 from 1955 carried the ITV channels. You've got the channel selector over here, with your numbers and what have you on them, channel numbers, the fine tuning control in the middle volume control and the contrast controller on the front aerial required was a band 1 and band 3 aerial usually mounted in the loft or if you were in a weak signal area it was mounted outside on the chimney stack it's made by GEC uh, it's not the General Electric Company as people often get it confused with the American company this is the General Electric Company of Great Britain that had offices in Kingsway in London and a huge factory in Coventry and they manufactured everything from a light bulb to a lo well literally from a light bulb to a locomotive quite an incredible company um, I'll turn it around and take the back off so you can I'll show you what I've done to it that's the service manual for it the original service manual very simple design I'll turn it around off the back signals for this by the way are being supplied via a standards converter 625 to 405 standards converter miracle of modern technology zoom in on this a bit and then you can see a little bit clearer what's going on right we've got the turret tuner over here two valves cascode RF amplifier double triode frequency changer it feeds a common amplification stage signal IF signal goes in here feeds a common amplification stage one vision stage and video output valve one sound stage sound detector and sound output valve over here you've got the frame output valve frame oscillator line oscillator sync separator and in the cage there you've got the line output valve efficiency diode and the high voltage rectifier it's very easy to service two screws here release the chassis you pull off the knobs disconnect the loudspeaker leads and slide the whole lot out the construction is on two printed circuit boards. The design didn't change much for about 10 years or more from GEC. They, they got it right and it worked, so why mess with it? Uh, components of when you're repairing an old receiver like this, it's generally capacitors that give trouble. Um, not that many to change on here, mostly in the frame time base, or as we call it now, the field time base. A few in the line time base on the panel here, the boost capacitor. The mains filter capacitor, that they always go leaky. And that is really about it, and a lot of adjustment, cleaning of, con of valve bases. The preset controls are usually faulty, they're easily replaced. Um, and we once again have a GEC BT302 in working order. They were a very popular set. They sold in very large numbers, as all GEC sets did. They were often rented by the major rental companies and private dealers. So there we are. I'll turn it around and give you one more look at it. Heavy old piece of kit. Wood cap it of course in those days. And there we go. The GEC BT302.